Alright guys, here we have the details of the scooter. I'll first show you how I built it. So I've got the controller in here, it's 1000 watts. I'm going to have the throttle which came with that. It's all 48 volts. We're running the stock motor, it's 250 watts I think. And everything else, we have the batteries here. You can, there's this little gauge to tell you how much power they have left. They're 4 amp hour batteries, as you can see, 24 volts. I wired them in series to that one, to the battery right here. I'll show you all that. I wired XT60 connectors in and electrical tape them. So, yeah, battery. I have a connector from another controller, the old one. And I wired that in here, and that connects to this controller perfectly. And then we have this guy, which is the motor connector. Connects here. You can see runs back from the back. See this little cord runs back right here. And then the throttle was kind of tricky because there's, um, so it came with the, the ground was connected to the negative so it didn't work so I had to solder these two to the XC60 connectors. They're right there. So yeah, I wired a positive negative together and then it worked after that and I soldered the ground together. Um, other than that, it's pretty simple. I haven't wired in the brake yet, which it works fine without that. You don't really need that. And yeah, you don't need the switch on the side. It's got a keyed switch at the top, so that way your kids can't like take it, I guess. I'm 14 myself, so. <laughs> That's strange, <laughs> I don't do that. So the batteries, you have to connect those in. I'll show you all that real fast. They just, it's really simple to just clip them in right here. So, um, yeah, I'll just do that real fast and then I'll bring y'all back. All right guys, so now I've got everything connected up. You just gotta tighten these down on the top. These little screws. I'm using screws, but honestly, you should just use that sticky Velcro stuff. You can buy that on Amazon. That would probably work better. But I haven't decided to do that yet. Right now, I'm calling it the E1000, because it's 1000 watt, so. Here's the screws right here. I only put three, because I don't think you need all of them. It takes too long. And so, I'll just go put those in. One's an Allen, so just make sure that. And then, screw those in real fast. a little while but yeah and then I taped all this together I just electrical taped it all the way up it's got these pretty beefy tires on it that's what I kind of like about this scooter a lot so let me just get that one here for y'all this is a 530 seconds so I think that's perfect in there like a standard size but this one fits perfect in there. Anyways, it was kind of slow at first but now that I've upgraded it it's like super fast. I'll show you. There's another guy who, a couple other people who have done this before and I kind of use them as reference. And so yeah, I'll show y'all now. Turn it on, it'll give you three green lights. Make sure when it's off, it doesn't show you any lights at all. That's for my throttle that I have. It's just a switch. And if you wire it wrong, it won't do that. So just make sure you solder those together correctly. And yeah, I think I'll take y'all on a little ride in just a second. Tell them what you're about to do. All right guys, so now we're about to do a oh. test ride. You're about to see the speed of this baby. You're so. about to see it go gas, gas, <laughs> gas. All right. So we got it on now. 
There he goes. to do a flyby. Yeah, I just put twice the power to it, and then I put a new controller in it, so... <laughs>